You know I'm crazy, y'all. But look, this is for winter. I mean, is it winter? Oh my god, it's summer. Ah! Diamond man. Look, a dandelion. Must be the last one of the season. What's good? It's your girl T Chanel, and welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah. Yes, we are here for none other than summer. S A S. Yes, summer. S A S. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it is summer, SAS, okay. We have the nice Judy Fruity fragrances, but they got all kind of fragrances. Like, y'all, do you see they bringing out fall into the stores? Like, it's just crazy. Like, the year is just flying by. It's unbelievable. But I wanted to bring you my first haul for summer SAS. I've been going through some ups and downs with Bath & Body Works. We'll get into all of that, but I wanna show you you know, what I hauled, and actually a little bonus haul, something that I got right before the sale started that I also wanted to share. Yeah, so if you're interested in seeing my haul for summer SAS 2023, <laughs> stay tuned. This is the bag I have, y'all, it's heavy. Oh, here it goes, Bath and Body Works, ah! And I have two bags inside, so we got a lot to go through, okay? All right, and if you see in my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, because I have quite a few returning viewers, and I have subscribers, but I have a lower amount of subscribers, so if you have not subscribed yet, come on, ride with your girl, vibe with your girl, and subscribe, okay? Thank you for the support. <laughs> All right. So, here's the first bag that was inside the big bag. In here, you're the one shower gel. I am almost done with the one I have. This is a strawberry birch scent. Very, very nice. A lot of people say it reminds them of Burberry Her, Burberry Elixir, all of that, but I'm not a fan of the um, Burberry Her at all. I don't own any of them. I'd rather Burberry Brit than Burberry Her, but I don't even own Burberry Brit. So I don't even have any Burberries in my collection, I don't think. So yes, but I do like You're the One. So the fragrance notes on You're the One, I'll hold it up here so you can see it. White Birch, Velvety Rose, a drop of strawberry nectar. And I know it says a drop, but the strawberry does come through. Birch I'm smelling as well. I really do like this, um, you know, fragrance. It's very, very nice. It goes with quite a few things, and it's good for summertime as well. All right, next, Amethyst Waves. Look at the bottle. Isn't it pretty, huh? All right, the notes on Amethyst Waves. We have Dream Berries, Wild Blooms, Soft Sandalwood. Sandalwood Berry Scent. That's what it is. I don't know. What do they say? Waves? Like, it's supposed to be... No, Dream Berries, Wild Blooms. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, if it says something about waves, like, I don't know if it's supposed to bring a water aspect. Oh, the title's Amethyst Waves, duh. <laughs> but it's a nice scent. I figured just having the shower gel would be good. I did not get the spray or the lotion. I just concentrated on body, um, I'm sorry, on shower gels because I know I can get through those quickly. And unless I'm in love with the scent, the amount of stuff that I have here, I can't just keep buying stuff and buying stuff. I have to get stuff that I can use. So that's why I concentrated on shower gels. This one is Juniper Breeze. And the notes on this, Juniper Leaves, Green Apple, Blue Jasmine, Fresh Woods, Dewy Musk. Has a lot more notes in here. This is, a, I mean, you know, for me, I'm not that big of a fan of apple. Like, I don't know what it is about apple, but I just don't like the smell. I love the way apples taste. I could eat apples all day, but when it comes to spraying it and putting it on my body... I don't know, apple, I don't run to apple. However, if there's a scent with apple in it that has other things to balance it, then I will get it. For instance, musk, I am a big fan of musk. Uh, jasmine has blue jasmine. I love anything with jasmine in it. So off the bat, jasmine and musk, I'm going to get you because I smell it in here. So that's why I picked 
this one up, Juniper Breeze. I'm excited to wear that. Okay, and then look, I got some aromatherapy, Simply Unwind. This is sandalwood and vanilla. Interesting they put it in this yellow um, container because in this container, it makes me think of, you know, a sunrise, like bright orange, tangerine, things like that. Not necessarily sandalwood and vanilla, but that's what's in here. So let us put this, put this back down and let's smell this. This is a creamy, where don't I have fragrance here? It's a creamy scent. It's a creamy sandalwood scent. I'm not getting a lot of vanilla. I'm getting more sandalwood from here, which is nice because I like vanilla, but I, I don't like like extreme vanilla. It's just not for me. So yes. I'm looking forward to using this. It's like, it kind of smells a little bit fresh, like fresh sandalwood to me, which is interesting. Okay, and then next in this bag, I have three wallflowers. Laundry Room Lemon. Did y'all see Laundry Room Lemon? I got it on sale during SAS. I think they had a sale where they were like $2.95 or $2.50 one day, I don't know. Spa Day is here. And then Coconut Lime Breeze, okay? So I'm looking forward to using all three. Coconut Lime Breeze is in for summertime. Like, it's hitting. Coconut Lime Breeze, you already know. Like, that's a given, right? But that Laundry Room Lemon, like, I'm very intrigued to see what that smells like. Let's talk about the notes on Laundry Room Lemon, as a matter of a fact. The notes, fragrance notes, Tart Lemon, Fresh air and salted lemongrass. Wow. This right here is probably going to be a hitter. Because laundry room is a hitter. So, laundry room lemon? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Next. In the other bag, in the big bag here, I have white citrus. Notes on white citrus. Lemon zest. Sparkling grapefruit, ginger flower, freesia petals, clean woods. Those are some awesome notes, huh? White citrus. And she's been around. It's a very fresh, clean scent. I'm smelling it, but I'm not really smelling it. Okay, let me spray it on a piece of paper to make sure I'm not losing my mind. Okay, now I'm getting more of it. I'm getting that citrus. I'm getting ginger. I'm getting fresh greenness. What's green in here? Maybe I'm getting the lemon zest and the grapefruit, like that zing. Very, very nice. White citrus. This is an old school Bath & Body Works scent, okay? Those of y'all who've been around for a while with Bath & Body Works, you know this is an old head. <laughs> This is an old one right here. Oldie but goodie. But it smells very nice. A nice ginger scent. This is going to be good. You know, it's summertime right now. This is going to be good with a, quite a few different things. You could wear this with Twilly. It has ginger in it. You could wear it with Passe Soir. Um, let me think what else. It's giving a freshness too. It might even pair well with um, Bond Number no. 9 Signature Scent. Yeah, so... White citrus. We gonna see where you take me, okay? Yes. And then, oh, I forgot about this. This is mango Mai Tai Flavor Burst Lip Gloss. Had it on sale. And every single thing I got, I forgot to tell you, is 75% off. I don't do the 50% for SAS. I don't honestly see the point of it. It has to be 75% off or more in order for me to purchase the item. So that was my first haul for SAS, but right before SAS, I made purchases because they had a candle and soap sale. So let me show you that really quick. Before I get into the soaps and the candles, I'm so sorry, I missed one thing. Fairy tale. Yes, I was able to find this 75% off original price, $14.50. Fairy tale, it's a vanilla orange scent. Very nice. I believe they discontinued this spray. You might catch it at SAS somewhere. But um, 
But yes, I'm glad to have this candle. I will be burning her. All right, let's get to the rest of what's in the big bag. Heavy candles and soaps. We'll start with the soaps. The soap that I got, sweet tea and lemonade. Do you see that? It's a nice design, yellow top. Let's smell it. Hmm. I get more tea than lemonade in here, to be honest with you. The notes, brewed sweet tea, fresh squeezed lemons and sugar crystals. It's probably because it's fresh squeezed lemons. That's why it's not like a sugar lemon. Sugar crystals, okay. It smells like a semi-sweet tea to me, not like a sweet, sweet tea. Uh, but it is good. I'm interested to see how it's going to smell on the hands once you wash with it. Is it really going to give me those sweet tea and lemonade vibes? Or is it going to give me just tea? <laughs> so we shall see once I put the sweet tea and lemonade on my hands. You see? <laughs> Next, Sweet Sandalwood. I remember this one smelling so nice in store. All right. The notes, Creamy Vanilla Sugarcane Rich Sandalwood. Wow, this is a beautiful creamy scent. Let me tell you, one thing about sandalwood, it always brings the creaminess. It brings the matureness to whether it's soap, whether it's fragrance, whether it's lotion, sandalwood just goes a long way. It's very, it's like mass appealing sandalwood. And I do like this color too, isn't this nice? I think it's good for the summertime as well. So yes, I am looking forward to using that in one of my bathrooms and enjoying that soap. All right, up next, Sunny Lemon Orchid. Same design we just saw with the sandalwood hand soap, however, this one is yellow. The notes on Sunny Lemon Orchid, Golden Lemon, Blossom, Spring Jasmine, and Cedar. There's something about lemon that smell in the kitchen, okay? You could cook, you could bake, you can mix and match, do what you wanna do. But for the smell in the kitchen, having that lemon, that freshness going, whether it could be citrus also too, orange is good for the kitchen, but I really do love lemon for the kitchen. My hand soap, my candle, things like that. Wow, it's a very sweet lemon smell. Hmm. Wow, it says spring jasmine too, so jasmine is in there. And I love anything with jasmine, I just run to. Okay, Garden Time. This is a cleansing hand soap gel. Hmm. It's a herb uh, gel hand soap, but it's fresh as well. Let's look at the notes on this. Fragrance notes, fresh thyme, spring moss, garden breezes. I think it's the moss I'm smelling along with the thyme. And they made it a little sweet, which is good because if you just have straight time, like you're going to feel like you're actually like it's going to be more food, but it's not like that. It's got a sweetness to it and herbalness. It's very nice. So yes, the last soap that I have here is Among the Clouds. I wanted to pick this one up. Popular scent, fragrance notes, wild berry skies and whipped vanilla clouds. Bath and Body Works is known for berries and vanilla. They have so many fragrances with just berries and vanilla in it. And this one is very nice. I'm smelling more um, in the body care for this. I smell more like blueberries. But in this one right now, I'm smelling red berries. Like strawberry is what I just smelled with vanilla in here. Not necessarily your blueberries. So that's interesting. The hand soap could differ from the wallflower, the difference from the candle, the difference from the body care. It's like you can have four or five different versions and all the things that they offer. So something to look out for, right? Just because you don't like the fragrance in the body care doesn't mean you may not like it in the soap or in the candle. It could be a mixed a little bit differently. So keep that in mind. All right, next here. Look at this beautiful, first let's take a look at the beautiful candle. Look at the top, it's a glass top. Look at this, it's called Driftwood Waves. Okay, the notes on Driftwood Waves, crisp sandalwood, salted bergamot, ocean air. 
This is an, a very nice, smooth scent. Air I'm not really getting though. I'm getting the sandalwood, bergamot, salted bergamot. It does have saltiness and, and sandalwood. Am I necessarily getting bergamot and natural air? Air definitely not. Bergamot maybe a little bit, but this is sandalwood and salt. That's what Driftwood Waves smells like to me. But I got this because it was on a great sale and I love the top, so I could not leave it behind. I really think this is nice. We'll see how she burns. And then, speaking of the nice candles, I could not let these go at the price they were. I think they were coming up with a coupon and everything. I think they were like, I don't know how much they were, maybe $12 or $11, 10 Say it! Say it! All right, I'll say it. I'm not sure. Either way, here we go. Flower cart, okay? I got two of them. This flower cart, it smells like flowers, okay? They did not lie about the flower cart. Notes on this, okay? Straight up bouquet. The notes, floral, wow, floral bouquets, fresh cut stems, lush greenery. It is a floral bouquet. The top fell, no. It is a floral bouquet. It definitely is. You have to like flowers to like the scent. If you're someone who, you like flowers, but you don't like something that smells like straight flowers, then you probably won't like this because this is straight up a flower bouquet. That's what this floral card is. But I'm interested to see how it smells. Is it going to fill up my room? Is it going to fill up just the bathroom, a smaller space? Or is it going to fill up the entire downstairs of my home, living room, kitchen, things like that? So we shall see. Hmm, smells good, though. All right, last but not least, fresh mint and tea tree. Look at the top. Isn't this beautiful? Is this supposed to be mint? I think this is supposed to be like mint or something i don't know but it's a beautiful top beautiful candle let's read the notes bright spearmint tea tree rosemary hmm. it's smelling a little bit different than what i smelled it in store so i am getting the mint i'm getting you know some tea why am i smelling chocolate <laughs> Why am I smelling like an Olive Garden chocolate mint? That's what this is reminding me of. You know those Olive Garden mints? Shout out if you like Olive Garden breadsticks and Alfredo sauce. I love their breadsticks and Alfredo sauce together. If you haven't tried that, I know it's just Alfredo sauce, but it is a dip that they offer, and it is really good together. But yes, this is reminding me of that nice chocolate mint you get after you eat Olive Garden. I know it doesn't have any chocolate in there, but that's interesting how my mind just went to Olive Garden smelling this. So interested to see how this one burns. It's green, it's colored. Usually the colored candles, I don't know, they burn faster. So we'll see how the performance goes. But it's a nice smell. All right, so that's it for my summer. S-A-S, -S. yes, haul number one. <laughs> Yes, so thank you so much for staying with me. I appreciate you, okay? Make sure that you like this video. Give it, give it a thumbs up if there's anything that you like. And make sure to subscribe. Your girl got a lot more content coming. We got more hauls. We got fragrance. We got beauty. We got lifestyle. Everything in between. I appreciate you so much. Virtual hugs. Okay? And don't forget that you are beautiful, all right? You are one of a kind. There's no one else in this world like you, honey, okay? And most importantly, you are loved. And if no one else told you today, I'm gonna be the one to tell you. I love you, okay? Mwah! Have a great day. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.